Hello guys, welcome to this Future Fit Q&A. My name's Riley, all my links will be down below and I'm a Future Fit athlete and personal trainer. This is gonna be a short, quick video about top tips to do once you're qualified and how to grow your personal training business. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna pop the questions down below and I'm answer them as best to the best I can. So if your question doesn't get answered, make sure you email it back to the Future Fit website and we'll try and get as many answered in the next one. Okay, so let's start up. Okay, so what is the best option for you? That's gonna vary because obviously you're still studying your GCSEs, you're just about to finish. If you wanna be a personal trainer and you know that's 100% your goal, you could do the level two uh, fitness instructors and the level three, three personal training course here at Future Fit and be qualified within a year and then you're done. Having said that, if you'd rather take a bit more time to make the decision, maybe go and study in college, do sport, and then after studying sport, come and do the personal training course with us. It's hard to know what you wanna do at 16, so make sure if you're gonna make this choice, you're 100% up for it. But it's really, really good that you're into fitness and you're into sort of uh, wanna be in a personal trainer. Okay, so in terms of apps, what I use, I use a timer app. There's loads and loads of different times that I use an app called Pocket Wad, uh, and that's just the one I've always used. I use Outlook calendars to plan all my sessions and meetings, and I always uh, invite my clients in, so it goes onto their calendar, so you have a schedule and they know when their personal training is. Um, and the other app I use is my fitness pal. I make sure all my clients try and track their calories on my fitness pal. You can become friends with them and then you can sort of stay uh, on to have, see how their diet is and stuff like that. In terms of apps, that's all I really use. I know there is the My PT Hub, but I've never, I've never been on there and I've never used it. Um, I think per, um, Future Fit want to write a blog about it. So if you are interested in that, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Okay, that links in nicely to the next question. So, have a schedule. Every Sunday night I like to plan out my week, know exactly when I'm training clients, uh, sort of what times I'm working from and what times are my free time. Because it's important, like you need to make sure you're still uh, keeping yourself in shape, you've got time to spend with yourself and your friends and stuff like that, as well as work. So, schedule, get a diary, plan out all your sessions, make sure all your sessions, you know what you're doing within your sessions. Yeah, and that's the best way to stay sort of multitask and uh, keep on top of it. Okay guys, so lactic acid buildup is an intra-workout soreness. Uh, it happens whilst you're working out uh, and it can be recovered in minutes. Whereas DOMS is delayed onset muscle soreness. So that happens after the workout and it takes up to 72 hours to recover from. Okay, tips for growing a business and personal training basis. Now this is something I actually struggle with myself as well and I think most uh, personal trainers do. It's in competitive industry. First thing is you've really got to enjoy what you do. If you're passionate about what you do and you enjoy it, then people will see that and they'll come and train with you and they'll want to do that. My biggest tip would be marketing, use social media, post as much as you can pay to advertise stuff so it reaches a bigger part target audience um, and that's probably my main tip for growing uh, a personal training basis and just stay consistent with it because it's a long process but if you stay consistent and stay dedicated you will get there okay so being a personal trainer is a very active job you're on your feet all day doing different things for different clients um, well, what you need to remember is people are paying you good money to be this personal trainer. So from your first client in the morning to your last client at night, you need to give the same amount of enthusiasm. Um, and every session is gonna be different, and all clients are different, but you just need to make sure that you stay enthusiastic uh, and you're very energetic with your clients, making sure you're giving them 100% in every session. Uh, that and a lot of coffee to stay uh, energized throughout your, throughout your day. Okay, now this is a really good question and it will come up quite a lot as a personal trainer. In terms of what you want compared to the client, you'll generally find that you and your client will match up uh, the goals and the ideas of where they want to take their body and stuff will match up well. Having said that, 
if it's if there's any health problems when you're doing your uh, park use and stuff like that, if that comes up, then you need to make sure that you either refer it further or you tell them that they need to sort X, Y, and Z out because the health will come first over what their goals are. But generally, they tend to match up quite nicely. Right guys, we've touched on this before as well, so balancing your social life with work life. Being a personal trainer can be quite um, unsocial hours. You work early mornings and late nights because that's when most of the people are available for sessions. Having said that, it is important to make sure you've got time for social life. So if you plan ahead with your diary, if you've got an event to go to on this day, make sure you're planning ahead and then leave that schedule free. The goal with personal training is to work for yourself, to be your own boss. So if you need this day off, if you need that evening off, you can have it. My best plan and what I try and do is I try and bunch up all my sessions to a sort of four, five, six hour slots in the mornings and the evenings. And then if you need to take a whole slot off, try and jiggle it around. A perfect example is this is I'm, away to, I'm going away to Dublin at the end of the week for the weekend for a fitness event and I've managed to push all my sessions into a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday so I can have the whole time off. So it's all about balancing because if you don't have a uh, social life, you're not gonna enjoy your life and that's what it's all about. So that was a quick seven question takeover. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please give this video a like. Make sure you follow in FutureFit. Go and check my social medias out as well and hopefully we'll see you in another one.